What's up, good guys? Napanood nyo na ba yung video ng Horizon Manila? Kung hindi pa, tara, panoorin natin para malaman natin kung bakit ito ang pinakaunang reclamation project na inindorso ni Mayor Isko Moreno nung umupo siya bilang mayor ng Manila noong 2019. By the way, bago ko i-play yung video, make sure to watch until the end para naman malaman natin kung gaano kalaki ang magiging epekto ng Horizon Manila sa capital appreciation na mga real estate properties sa May Rojas Boulevard. Horizon Manila embodies the passions and the dreams of every Manileño for a better Manila. It reimagines a new city or a new era. Horizon Manila is an amazing place specifically planned for every Manilenio. By integrating the future of Manila with the spirit of its existing neighborhoods, we have this incredible opportunity not just to build a new city, but to revive and transform the city of Manila. It's about building a city with a remarkable abundance of public space and nature. Five minutes or three kilometers away from the heart of our metropolis. This will be one of the most important investments in the future of our country, providing up to 400,000 new jobs in the coming decades. The three islands are bisected by a canal park that acts as the center for life in Horizon and connects all three islands. It recalls our roots as Tagalog people who settled along the banks of the Pasig River and acts as a green valley in the middle of the Muslim Sea. This four kilometer long canal along with the two main dividing water routes and various reservoirs will allow the city to be self-sufficient with fresh water and even allow it to help with the water scarcity problems of the city. Any master plan for Manila has to start with its people and communities. We are not designing a top-down regimented master plan with homogeneous landmarks and streetscapes. We are creating an organic collection of 28 diverse and compact mixed-use communities that reflect the identity and character of Manila. We believe that communities are built by providing its people with a shared experience in the form of common geography and public space. This allows them to come together and form stronger bonds with the support of social infrastructure like streetscapes and plazas. Over the last few years, we've been working on our ideas about social architecture. We've reimagined libraries, museums, bridges, and even medical facilities for Manila with a network of hyper-local, barrier-free spaces for our communities. At Horizon Manila, we're once more pursuing ideas to help build better communities for Manila. We've imagined a collection of progressive, diverse, and compact communities that act like settlements strung along a winding canal park. Each community has its own narrative and story with unique localities and features that allow them to thrive and grow into extraordinarily livable and human communities. For us, this is the first step to building neighborhoods that can be as distinctive as the ones we grew up in. We need so much more open space and public buildings for our Manila news. Manila is the densest city in the world, and Mega Manila is one of the fastest growing and largest urban centers in the world, with over 25 million people. Our plan will feature over 419 hectares of both green spaces and community amenities. These green and community ratios will form the backbone of our developmental guidelines for the city. Horizon Manila will feature a comprehensive personal mobility system with extensive three-line sidewalks and bicycle lane networks that ensures that everywhere in the city is within a five-minute walk from the mass transit system. The central station acts as the main interchange for people coming and going from Horizon. Through the various connections by road and rail, from the viaduct and through both the gateway and courtyard districts. The first island at Horizon will have an arts and culture district the first world-class contemporary art museum in the Philippines. Bounded by cultural and design organizations, this will form the nucleus for one of the first communities in this new city. Over the years, it will grow eastward along the Innovation Corridor and connect with the growing tech hub with its media tech and fabrication labs and other IT facilities by the bay. To the south of the Arts and Culture District is the Market District. Anchored by the open fairgrounds and the Market Hall, 
while opposite the waterway on the second island will be the tourist district, centered on a cruise terminal and entertainment and convention center, along with the twin bases on skyscrapers and a boardwalk that leads to the Vienna district. The second island centers on the exchange district with its fashion world and the wellness district with its medical center and the assisted living campus. These three districts bound the canal park and connects the three islands. The new westernmost point of Manila will be Sunset Drive with its premier residential towers looking out into the bay. It is the terminus of the canal park where everyone can enjoy the Manila Bay sunset with the nearby shopping district and up-down district. Our cities must reflect the spirit of our times. What we can achieve for the generations to come is marked by the courage to take the next step, to move forward with the knowledge and understanding of society, culture, and technology. The city of tomorrow is defined not by the buildings that we build, nor by the systems and technologies that will continue to evolve. It is one where human society can reap the fruits of labor and technology to live an enjoyable and progressive, sustainable lifestyle. It is a city that serves to uplift the individual diversity and human qualities of people and create stronger and more connected communities for a better living. Horizon Manila will be the cosmopolitan city of tomorrow, the forefront of creativity and innovation, here to serve and strengthen the vitality of our people. And so, I invite all of you to Horizon Manila and experience the city of Manila as a place where, together, we can build a better future. Wow! The city of tomorrow talaga! Amazing! Kahit siguro naman ako, i-endorse ko din siya katulad ni Mayor Isko. So let's dive in to the details of the Horizon Manila project. First and foremost, Horizon Manila is a completely Filipino-owned reclamation project and the only one master planned by a local Filipino firm which showcases the competencies and capabilities of our local practices and developers and is thus able to embrace a future that is truly Filipino. It is a joint venture between the City of Manila and J. Bros Construction Corporation headed by engineer Jesusito J. R. Legaspi Jr. Also known as Manileño, referring to the people-centric design of Horizon Manila, is a 419 hectare reclamation project in Manila Bay. It will be built 3 kilometers away from Rojas Boulevard and will be connected by a bridge tunnel over Manila Bay. Wow! Parang Golden Gate Bridge lang ang peg. At syempre, parang nasa sa San Francisco, California ang dating. Amazing! Horizon Manila is the biggest reclamation project in Manila Bay that will be used as a commercial and real estate development. J. Bros Construction partnered with WTA Architecture and Design Studio, a Filipino architecture and design firm to be the master planner of Horizon Manila headed by architect William T. Horizon Manila Manila is composed of three islands arranged from east to west. Island 1 and 2 are 140 hectares each, while Island 3 is 139 hectares. It is composed of 28 distinct communities settled along a river valley with a 4-kilometer long canal park joining the three islands with linear parks and ample green spaces. Horizon Manila is 2.36 times bigger than the size of the Ortigas Business District, 1.4 times the size of Bonifacio Global City in Taguig City, and slightly bigger than the 400 hectare financial district in Makati City. It will be the biggest master plan business district of its kind in the Philippines. Ang pinakanagustuhan ko na gagawin sa Horizon Manila is the green plot ratio of 1. All developers within Horizon Manila will be required to incorporate green spaces within its development. Green development kumbaga. Let's watch a short video clip of Horizon Manila's features and exciting possibilities that a awaits Manilenos once this billion-dollar project is completed.
Bago masimulan ang construction ng Horizon Manila, syempre, kailangan muna nilang gawin ang land reclamation sa Manila Bay. Jaybrush Construction topped the service of the world-renowned Dutch company Vanard, which built the world-renowned mega project Dubai's Palm Jumeirah. World-class talaga ang design, di ba? Ang tanong, paano ba naman nito maaapektuhan ang capital appreciation ng mga real estate properties na malapit dito? Currently, Horizon Manila is valued at 321 billion pesos or 6 billion US dollars by Cuervo appraisers as of May 2021. One of the leading companies providing asset valuations in the Philippines. Hindi pa na itatayo ang Horizon Manila pero ganito na kalaki kaagad yung valuation niya. At ang forecasted na price per square meter once na matapos ito will be at least 1 million pesos per square meter by 2025. Almost two times the current value niya as of today. I'll make a simple example. SMDC has three residences located in Rojas Boulevard. Ang pinakabagong Sands Residences, Coast Residences na malapit ng Mag RFO, at Breeze Residences na nasa RFO stage na. Overlooking ng tatlong residences na to ang Horizon Manila project, lalo na kung nasa top floor ang kukunin mo na unit. For wow. Sands Residences, Residences, a studio unit with a TLP of 6 million and a monthly DP of 13,000 for 60 months, the initial investment is only 857,000. The conservative capital appreciation of 7% is equal to 8.4 million with a total income of 7.6 million pesos for 5 years or 149,000 US dollars. So by the time Time na matapos ang Horizon Manila, you can assume that the value of the Sands Residences studio unit will double at 12 million pesos. Biruin mo ha, nag-invest ka lang ng 857,000 pesos for 5 years, pero kumita ka ng 11 million pesos through capital appreciation alone. Hindi pa kasama dyan yung income mo once na mag-decide ka na ipalis or iparent ang unit mo through Airbnb or long-term leasing. Um, Amazing. So ayan, nakita nyo naman na ang magiging capital appreciation ng SMDC Sands Residences once na matapos na ang Horizon Manila project. Dahil considered nga na prime location ang Rojas Boulevard. So ano pang hinihintay nyo? Kung may budget din lang kayo, choose to invest now habang naka-pre-selling pa ang SMDC Sands Residences at Coast Residences na sobrang lapit lang sa Horizon Manila. If you like the video and learn a lot from it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more real estate news like this and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of my videos. Thank you for watching. This is Desai Barreto saying, one thing is for sure, the future of Manila is bright, smart, sustainable, and so much more exciting. Love it! Happy investing! Keep safe everyone! God bless! See you in my next video!